Well, the San Diego County Sheriff's Office has stepped in to help Escondido police respond to calls so officers can attend tomorrow's memorial for Laura Perez, who investigators say was killed by her husband. New at 610 News reporter Matt Mendez is live at Escondido Police Department, and Matt, Laura Perez's training officer says his interaction with her was memorable. Perez was involved in a fight with a mentally ill man. Meanwhile, flags remain at half staff here at Escondido Police Department as officers prepare to say their final goodbye. A memorial with teddy bears sits inside the lobby at the Escondido Police Department. Officer Laura Perez is remembered by colleagues as a humble woman and a hard worker. Her training officer, Mario Sines, remembers his last interaction with her about a month ago. She responded to a call of a mentally disturbed man who challenged her to a fight. She had a call for backup. I know she was in a little bit of a scuffle during the incident, but she was able to get out on the air that she needed help, and she did a wonderful job. I just checked her status afterwards to make sure she was okay. Officer Sign says he took Perez under his wing like a little sister. He'll be a pallbearer tomorrow at her private memorial service at Cal State San Marcos. Today he's driving her patrol car. He got it washed and detailed, ready to go for the procession. Hundreds of law enforcement officers are expected to attend from across the state and country. It's a, one of those professions where people are really connected, whether you know the person or not, and there's that, as you mentioned, a brotherhood. Perez is the first officer on the Escondido police force to die a violent death. Perez was shot at her home in Murrieta. Her husband, Freddy Perez Rodas, confessed to killing her and stashing her body in a storage locker before returning home and setting their house on fire. Sign says Perez had a lot of potential and will be missed by everyone in the community. You know, we had a few laughs because she had a great personality as well, but when it was time to take her business and learning the objectives, she was very focused and very dialed in. It was a blessing to work with her. Perez leaves behind a four-year-old daughter who is now staying with family. And since 2 p.m., the San Diego Sheriff's Department has been patrolling the city. Uh, they are responding to calls as well as some Escondido PD officers. Uh, count on 10 News tomorrow to bring you full coverage of this private service. In Escondido, Matt Mendes, 10 News.